came across the strait today to look for mushrooms and blueberries. We are enjoying the summer bounty that Alaska has to offer. We struck out with the mushrooms, but got lucky with blueberries on Spruce Island. For some reason, blueberries do not grow at Sailboat Cove. The blueberries were rinsed, sorted, and most put aside to air dry for freezing. The remainder will be used for pancakes and pie. From the waters of Alaska, we have enjoyed salmon and halibut. John and Christy have a subsistence salmon fishing permit, which allows the use of a gill net. Here in the cove, they seem to have the best luck when the net is put out during times when there is a large tide. The end of the net is secured to Camille's dock. While Christy feeds out the net and floats from the bin on the dock, John reverses in the skiff okay, and tensions it. the net. For subsistence fishing, rules require the net be under observation and removed during the night. On this day, they caught pink and chum salmon. Chum salmon is also known locally as dog salmon because in former days it was fed to sled dogs. Fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog. Aww. And dogs not as good? Dogs are my least favorite. But they're still salmon. Taste wise, yeah. Taste -wise. They're big fish. They can be really big and really pretty. Oh, here's another one. And that is a salmon. Although dog salmon is not highly prized, I thoroughly enjoy the moist, mild flavor of deep-fried, freshly caught dog salmon. It's my favorite. John is preparing to fillet a dog salmon. Just cut down until you hit the, hit the backbone. Mm -hmm. And then just turn your knife, move your hand here. Mm -hmm. No problem. Oh, there's your fillet, huh? And then there's the and eggs. There's Wow. They have they have great big chum salmon have great big eggs. They do. And so the Japanese really love chum so salmon. So those eggs. are like the eggs for uh, you know trout fishing too. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Yeah, and they and they make them for trout fishing too. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. In contrast, the pink salmon's flesh is much redder. During the course of the season, John and Christy caught, in addition to pink and chum, silvers are coho, and reds are sockeye salmon. King, our Chinook salmon, is also local, but too large to be caught with this net and would have to be caught with a rod and reel. Another method of subsistence fishing with a gill net is called round hauling. Here, Jean and Barb are catching silvers off of Yusinki. There are also commercial set net fishing permits, and this one was out at the point of Sailboat Cove. John and Christy were careful to only put their net out when there was a commercial fishing closure so as not to interfere with the commercial fishing. We got to see commercial salmon fishing seiners in action. This boat was hauling fish in Danger Bay on a Fognec Island. Everyone said this year was not a good year for salmon fishing. The captain of this boat said this particular haul was his best of the day and it's not a terribly large haul. As for John and Christy, some days were good. And on this day, only three silvers were caught the entire day.
Well, salmon is regulated by the state of Alaska. Subsistence halibut fishing is a federal permit. Since halibut are bottom feeders, a long line is used. The hooks are examined for sharpness and counted. Only 36 hooks are allowed. John used salmon bellies saved from salmon fishing as bait. Each leader is carefully draped over the edge of the bucket. One end of the long line is anchored and buoyed. With Christy driving the boat, John clipped on the leader to the long line. A little faster. Faster? Okay. Tell me the speed you want. When all the hooks have been paid out, the end is anchored in buoyed. While we were putting out the line, David and Lydia dropped by for a visit. Where did you kayak from, Anton? Anton. Wow, what a day for it though. The line was left to soak three hours, and then we checked for any bites. After unhooking a nice sized halibut, we hit jackpot. Ooh, nice fish. Oh, give me the gun. Get you the gun, I'm getting you the gun. Beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is gorgeous. Careful, don't. Boston Whaler. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice fish. Yeah. Okay, the tip of the jaw there to the tip of the tail is 57. Mm-hmm. Wow. 57 inches. Almost, Almost five, five feet, feet long. Yeah. The length 57 is Live weight? 92.2 pounds. 92 Dressed two. weight is 70. Almost a hundred pounder. Almost. Almost. Wow. The summer bounty of Alaska is incredibly rich. It is a time to reap and store for the oncoming winter. We did, however, take time out to make trips just to enjoy the beauty of our surroundings. Then it was back to projects and processing fish. Join us in the next video to find out what we did with all the fish we caught. So until then, 